Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. Today's system is from the user Circleo in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation. And their one is called the KB272 system. So without further ado let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us here. We're back in update 33 for this one in particular as well so this should be interesting. It's in a game or the version about two years old now. Right, woohoo. What is this? Whoa. It's actually running as well. Okay, very cool. Let's just pause it. Right, so what's sort of going on here? Aha. Uh -huh. Right, welcome to the KB272 system. It is thought to be 49 years in the solar system discovered back in 2003 and has been studied by NASA for multiple years. The reason why it's 33 is because it was made in 33 and then forgot about the system and started working on it. Oh dear. Okay, right, what's going on here? So, 272, the star itself. 8.91 Jupiters, but has the mass of the sun. Okay, so size-wise it's 8 Jupiters. There it is. Okay. So in suns, where are you? Radius of sun. There you go, 0 0.9 by 8.9. There you are. All right, first of the planets. So object B here. There we go. A super Venus that is tidy locked. It was for us to just have been an ordinary planet, but thanks to when it eclipsed, people found out it was a super Venus. Okay. So there it is there. Looking underneath, very similar to the Venus we know. There you go. Very cool. All right. Turn off the zone as well. Object C. A world like Earth has hints of vegetation. Okay. Looking good. Nice. Has a moon as well. The first hex moon ever found. It was discovered in the year 2007. It was mainly the uh, moon, except it was really close. Okay. Very good. Okay, moving on. So, object D. Where's the D one? C. Is it that one? Oh, where is it? Hang on, it's that grey coloured one. Aha, there it is. Yep. A planet has 4.71 chance of life, and it is like Mercury and Earth combined, aka the most boring thing ever, apparently. Uh -huh. well, there you go. Little patches of water on it though. Interesting. So we have object E. So you see a lot of similarities with solar system objects so far. So this is your Mars equivalent. A lot warmer than the red planet. It's hitting at minus 49. Okay. Nice. Then we have object F. It's here. Nice planet that was found at the same time as object E. Same as the Mars one. So there it is. Okay. Then object G and I. Most boring planets in the system. Okay. So two, I'm guessing they're just two plain cold rocks. So G and F. Or G and I, sorry. So where's the, there's I. There it is. So a cold rock by the looks of things. Yep. Minus 143. So next up we've got H over here. A planet that has a purple tint with reddish parts. Okie dokie. Right, it's so moving on to object L now. I'm guessing this is uh, the Jupiter equivalent. There we go. Unknown by humanity. What's this? It's just an unknown object not mapped by humanity. I'm guessing that's what that means. Okay. A gas giant similar to the planet of Jupiter. There we go. Oh, it's a modified Jupiter by the colours. That. That's pretty cool. And it's got some unknown moons. Okay. There it is. 272k. Okay, moving on. There's a lot of unknown by humanity objects in here. There you go. Look at all these. Loads of random rockies. Okay, so we're heading to. So we did a L. So where's the next one? K. Where, where's the K? There's M. I don't see it. So it's a far brown giant. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. <laughs> where is it? K. So KB272. K. 
Oh, I was never going to spot that. It was miles away. <laughs> it's in a different order. It's a brown dwarf. Okay. A far brown giant that protects the outer parts of the asteroids. Okay. Well, the lettering on this one is a bit confusing. Right, there we go. And it's got a bunch of random... I call them moons or planets. This is technically a brown dwarf. Are they planets around a brown dwarf or moons around a brown dwarf? I think it's meant to be planets, aren't they? Yeah, the failed star. So it's just a lot of lot of random asteroids. Okay, there we go. Right, alrighty. So moving on to object M over here. Neptune-like planet with Uranus-like rings. I don't see any rings. Okay, but there it is. Next up, we have object N. Yeah. Puffle planet that is one of the most observed planets in the system. It's got two uh two objects around it as well. Two unknown moons. Three unknown moons, okay. Then we have object O, which is the blue one. What is that? A lightish and darker blue planet is more comparable to Uranus. There we go. And again, a bunch of unknown moons. It's getting pretty dark out here, and this is an older version. We don't have the space goggle button or anything for the lighting, so it's back to the old, uh, the old ways. But a flashlight button. There it is. Directional light. Flashlight. There it is. Go studio. Yeah. There you are. All right. And then object P. And where are we? Object P. Over here. And there it is. Okay, and that's again a bunch of unknown objects. So there you go. Okay, very good. And that does it for this system, everybody. So there it is. I mean, it's a lot of unknown objects. Uh, what's this? Unknown by humanity, as like I said. Now, I mean, that's the name of most objects in here. Is that? What's this? That one has an interesting appearance. Oh, it's like an eyeball planet. Look at that. Needed more bios. It was very. There wasn't much description about most, I have to say, but yeah, there it is. What do you think of it? Let us know down below in the comments. It was quite quick built. I mean, it was interesting as it was actually running, but yeah, most of the objects are just unknown by humanity. It looks like a lot of it was just skipped over. Um, yeah, I think it could probably have some tweaking done to it, I have to say. But um, yeah, that will send down, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, let us know what you think down below in the comments. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers as well. And if that will send down, everybody. Make sure you have a great day out there, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.